If you're new to raising chickens, you might have a few questions like, can chickens fly? How tall does my fence need to be to keep them at home? And if they do get out, will they come back? I'm Jamelin with Backyard Dino, and in this video, I'll go over four tips that I've found to keep my chickens from flying. While most chickens are capable of flight, they typically are not going to fly off. If anything, they will fly up on top of a fence or into a low-hanging branch and use that as a way to get out of your yard. Once chickens have established where their home base is located, they will return at the end of the day to go home and roost. The first of my five tips for keeping your chickens from flying might be useless for people who already have their chickens. Number one is to select a breed of chicken that's less likely to fly. There are some breeds of chickens that are more likely to fly than others, and if you're looking for a bird that's going to stay in your backyard, you might want to avoid any of the chickens on this list. Pullets or young chickens are more likely to fly than older mature chickens, and it's because of their body weight. On average, pullets weigh about six pounds while mature hens weigh about eight pounds. That extra body weight makes it harder for chickens to lift themselves up with their wings and to fly. In addition, bantam breeds of chickens are more likely to fly as well just because they're so small. They usually only weigh about two pounds, so flying is a lot easier for them. Number two, make sure your chickens have access to their coop all day. In general, chickens are not going to leave the place where they get their food and they're able to lay their eggs. So if they have access to their coop all day, they're not as prone to want to wander and find other places to go. I recently did another video on reasons that chickens lay eggs in the yard. And if you are able to make sure that your nesting boxes meet all the criteria for a nice safe place for your chickens to lay, they're more likely to stay close to their coop. Once chickens have established where their home base is, they're more likely to stay there. So when you're moving chickens to a new coop, you want to keep them enclosed in that coop for a few days to train them that that's their new home. You'll do this with your chicks once they transition from the brooder into the big coop. Also, if you move your chickens to a new coop. So when we moved houses, we upgraded our chicken coop. And when we brought them over to the new house, we kept them in their new coop for about three days to teach them that that's where their new home is. We made sure they had plenty of food and water, and we made sure to collect their eggs daily so that those wouldn't get cracked with all of the chickens hanging out in their coop. Number three, keep your chickens in a chicken run or a chicken tractor throughout the day. So this is the most practical way to keep your chickens from flying off. If they've got a chicken run, that's going to be an enclosed area. It usually has a roof on it and it keeps your chickens inside of it during the day. So your chickens will have their coop to, to sleep in at night and also to lay their eggs in during the day. But for the rest of the day, they're going to be outside eating, pecking the ground, scratching, dust bathing, running around, getting exercise, and they need space to do that. So if you don't let your chickens free range, they need to have an enclosed run in order to stay safe. When I was working, I would keep my chickens in the run during the day. That way I knew nothing was going in to get them. And I also knew that they would stay in our yard. I know some people would use a chicken tractor. It's also called a chicken arc. And it's this movable thing that you can set up in your yard where your chickens are in it and you just transition it to a different place in your yard every few days. The reason we've never used that is because our chickens tear up our yard and we like to have a nice lawn, which is kind of weird for chicken keepers because that, it's kind of hard to have both. Just make sure if your chickens stay in a tr chicken tractor during the day, they've got access to food and water, and you might even set up a temporary nesting box in the tractor so that they've got a safe place to lay their eggs. Number four, install fencing if your chickens free range. Chickens really should be allowed to free range as much as possible since it's really great exercise for them and allows them to eat bugs and plants throughout the yard that are very nutritious. Sometimes chickens that are exclusively fed a layer feed can have issues with not having as many eggs. So if you're able to let your chickens free range, that's really good for their health. However, chickens at free range are also more likely to, to escape. If you have a fence at, that's at least 48 inches tall, that will help to discourage some of your chickens from flying over. However, if you can get a fence that's at least 60 inches tall, that's probably going to be your best bet for keeping your chickens from flying over the fence. 
You can also consider adding a lightweight netting over your fence to keep your chickens from flying out. These are the same types of nets that people use on fruit trees to keep wild birds from eating the fruit off of those trees. Or it's the same type of netting you can use in your garden to keep the birds from eating your tomatoes and peppers and things like that. So at our old house, and also I guess at this one too, we had a seven foot tall wooden fence installed. And I had just gotten my chickens. They were just a few months old. They were still like considered pullets at this point. And I looked outside and one of my chickens was in my neighbor's crepe myrtle tree. What I think had happened is she had jumped on top of the trash can that was sitting in front of the fence. And then from the top of the trash can, she jumped to the top of the fence. And from there she flew up into my neighbor's tree. Just keep in mind, even if you've got a really tall fence, there could be ways for your chickens to stair step their way up and over it. As our chickens have gotten older though, they're not flying on top of our fence. We still have our trash cans in front of the fence and it's not a problem. I don't think I've seen any of them try to escape since they have started laying eggs consistently. They're all so big now and they love their coop so much that they're not going to try to escape. Number five, you can clip your chicken's wings or add bands. I have no experience doing this. I've just read about it, and I would consider this, in my personal opinion, to be a last resort. However, I do know some people that they do this just on the regular because they want to make sure that their chickens stay confined. So with clipping your chicken's wings, what some people will do is they clip their flight feathers and then that keeps them from wanting to fly. Another thing are wing bands and that prevents the chickens from being able to flap their wings in order to fly. So at the end of the day, you know your chickens better than anybody else. And what might work for one person might not work for your chickens. So just figure out what works best for you to keep your chickens in your backyard and keep them from flying. And make sure to share that with your other chicken friends because we can all use some good tips for our backyard chickens. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.